Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Tactics Redux. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as I try something crazy, something absolutely mad, and a strategy that I have developed over the years for this mission. Uh, there's quite a few different ways to complete it. Well, just a couple, a couple different ways to complete it. One way is to drug the turrets. I'm not sure if they were they patched that, but uh, in the original game, anyway, you can give drugs to anybody and they will die of overdose. Uh, that happens. So you can give them um, any drugs that you have. Right now we have quite a few, and I think we could kill at least one of the turrets, probably two. But uh, the third, the third one, I guess, four mantat kills them. Uh, uh, these two should do the trick for another one of them, and uh, I'd, uh, the Psycho, a couple of them, I think actually kills them, and definitely, yeah, we'd be able to kill the, the three turrets, but I was, I'm not gonna do that. The reason I'm, why I'm not gonna do that is because I want to save as many of those drugs as possible for later. The problem, of course, is that as soon as we activate that switch, not as soon, not as soon, and thankfully not as soon, but very soon after we activate that switch, these turrets are gonna activate. So ba this switch right here, this is what I'm talking about. So basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna enter combat. I'm gonna activate this. Interlock override initiated. Switching power from internal to external defense systems. Surface defense systems primed. Surface sterilization commencing in 10 seconds. We got 10 seconds to go back to where we were. This thing is disabled. This thing is disabled. Everything down here is disabled as soon as, as you hit that switch. The problem is, these turrets will activate in 10 seconds. The thing is, if you run, if you really run, you can make it over there and over there before those 10 seconds are done. And the thing is, I don't do it in real time because the, the time only passes in turn-based and it passes like 10 seconds I think each turn. Uh, the time only passes if you end the turn. So what I usually do is I try to get as far into here as possible and then I crouch or then I go prone and I just try to survive. But if I can get in there, and apparently I can, let's try this guys, let's try this. So that turret is gonna murder my ass. But of course, Stitch has got my back. Well, hopefully. Let's see what happens. Surface defense systems deactivated. Internal defenses online. So the backup power doesn't sustain everything. But Jax is still alive, which is good. Which is good. But of course, I shouldn't do this actually. I'm doing this wrong. I am definitely doing this wrong. Okay, so yeah, that was a nasty death, wasn't it? So yeah, the, the I'm de I'm doing this wrong. I forgot about how how to do it, but I can do it still. Um, everything is good to go. Let me try to activate these doors. And no, 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 no. Activate those doors so you are as close as possible. Okay, so hit that. Interlock over. Yeah, enter. Okay. Actually, I'm doing this wrong again. Let me let me enter combat before. So the idea is. The best, I, the best idea is to be with this one's down. And now I enter combat, okay. Now Stitch, which unfortunately for me was not close to that, but that's fine. Override yeah, initiated. yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so this is the plan. As soon as I, as that gets down, or yeah, the door goes down, I can run. As far as possible, that's gonna allow me to be in there. And as soon as I can, I can do that, it should be totally okay. So I'm gonna do this. Surface defense. Yes, yes, okay. So the guy's upstairs, and the only guy is Tarnak over here. He's standing there as guard. These guys are not are minding their own business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end combat. I'm gonna bring you there, and I'm gonna go prone. You are entering a restricted zone. I am, I know. Please don't get shot. Thank you. Okay, we got an intruder. Intruder alert, but now the real test stands because... Because I don't really know how long, how, how it counts. How I don't really know how it counts. So I am kind of flying blind right now. I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. Okay, so if I can get a sense of these guys in here, that'd be a good thing. I can get those sense. That's good. That's good. And it's going to be a three mission, or actually a one mission, uh, one guy mission, this mission here. Because uh, I don't like bringing everybody, because it takes a little while to bring everybody. So the plan is going to be exactly the same. As soon as that 
As soon as those guys go down, I'm gonna save here. As soon as those guys go down, I'm gonna enter combat. Enter combat right there. Uh, no, I shouldn't do this. I should bring Jacks up, uh, up and enter combat after that because I'm gonna save four action points with that one. Okay, enter combat right there. Good. That was good. Now Stitch opens that again, and that's gonna disable these and enable the guys upstairs. Interlock override initiated. Yeah, it's got the same 10 seconds. I am pretty sure they don't count down. Got 15 seconds up here. I just now noticed that. <laughs> I don't think it used to be like that, but maybe it did. Okay, so now the idea is to run as fast as possible. This is, however, very, very tricky. So I'm not gonna be crazy right now. I'm gonna do just this and disable this one. Again. Yeah, yeah, we're all good. This is very finicky, though. And I'm gonna try and uh, not die. Please, please go prone. Please go prone. Please go prone. God damn you, guy. What the hell's wrong with you, man? What the hell is wrong with you? You piece of shit. What the hell was wrong with him? Why didn't he go... Why didn't he go prone? You guys saw that. You, If you look back... Okay. Up. Enter. Stitch. Enables. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop narrating this process. Because there's no real point in doing that. So I'm gonna send you there. Yet. Okay, so now you do that. Stitch, disable that. And that's good. You shut up, please. Thank you very much. Now. Okay, go there. Go there. Good, good. Okay. Another stack checkpoint here. Next turn. Next point. Yeah, it's gonna be. You're gonna stand up and I'm gonna enter. Press enter as soon as you go down. That one. Enter. Good. Stitch, do your thing. Yeah, this is very janky, very weird, but it's the way I can do it for sure. And uh, killing these turrets is definitely, definitely not advisable. Of course, there's another turret over there, and another turret over there. So, is it gonna be interesting? Is it gonna be hard? Well, time will tell. No, it isn't. Because that thing right there is destroyed. That's a good thing. However, I'm gonna need to exit combat right there, pause that one, now Stitch can enable that, and Jax will be able to go. Surface defense. Shut up! I'm gonna be able to go prone as soon as he. Oh, he's actually out of sight of that one. That's perfect. That is good. Oh no 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 no! Why why do you have line of sight on that? Why do you have line of sight? What did it? God damn it! No 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 no! God damn it, guy! Okay, you see what happened? That door didn't go down. That door didn't go down. So what can I do here? I can enter combat mode. I can open this again. Interlock over. That way uh, the door is open and it forces the door to go down. Well, not down. Up, but there we go. I, so, I hope. Yeah, I didn't break the door. Whew. Okay, you got a shot, but that's fine. I'm going to get more at the end of the day. Let's see what we have here. Oh, 90. 90 micro fusion cells. I don't remember that being the case. Those are. They used to be quite heavy. So I'm not really sure if that's going to stay in my inventory forever. Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Can't you have... No, that's really bad. The hell? He doesn't see you. The... He didn't see me. Please don't shoot it. For the love of... Please don't shoot it. He's gonna shoot it. He's gonna be shot. That's what happened. Nope. Okay, he survived. Okay, go there. Good. Okay. Somehow we survived. I'm satisfied with that, and I need to look at what this is. Okay, so let me see what the damage output of that one is. 25 to 40, this one is 30 to 45. Okay, I knew, I knew this was worse. Actually, it wasn't, because it was burst, and burst does, I think, less damage, maybe? No, it's the same one, yeah, okay. So burst, I think, is three bullets or something, I don't know. Anyway, we're good. We got that, um, and I didn't need that. Okay, so we're good for right now. For right now. You can't reload? You can, okay, good. Whew. Now, moving on. Uh, this is this is the trickiest part of the level, this one. It's just making sure you don't die. Now, go up, that's good. Go there. Next, very tricky part as well. Because this place is filled with enemies. As you can see, there's cockroaches, there's scorpions, and God knows what else. It is gonna be very tricky. What I'm gonna try to do, uh, I think first, firstly I should take a steam pack here couple maybe yeah a couple should do it uh, okay that's good now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna kill this red scorpion first because he's more of an issue to me than that cockroach right there okay that one sees me 
Oh, that's not too bad. That is too bad, though. That is too bad. That's fine. Do your thing. That's not bad. That's not fine. How the hell did I not die? I didn't know. I didn't die, guys. Uh, now let's take one of these. That was good. That, that was satis satisfactory. Okay, reload that. You should be okay. I'm gonna bring Stitch in. Maybe. The problem is with bringing the guys in is just that it takes so long. So long. Um, especially for Stitch that doesn't have that many action points. So let's see. That's good. Okay, Stitch. There we go. How many shells do I have? 98. That's good. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna bring Stitch. Actually, I think I'm gonna be selective about the loot that I take. Because I usually am not. Uh, I could I could show you the glitch that I know about the game. Yeah, let's see what happens. Guess we'll see what happens. Um, let's take that one. That one, as soon as it appears, I think it's gonna. No, these guys are not bothered by my presence here. It should be fine. Yeah, it's all good. These guys are gonna die. Hopefully, please. Nope, he didn't. Go. Okay, it's good. It's good. While you're running, you don't regenerate action points, so be careful about that. But, uh, it, oh, I mean, when, while you're moving, it's not just running. While you're moving, if you're crouching or if you're walking, um, yeah, if, if you move, you don't regenerate action points. So let's be careful here. I think I'm gonna get line of sight of that one first. Uh, that's gonna be bad. Poisoned. Really, really bad. Really bad. But I'm not gonna reload. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hopefully not be killed by, by a cockroach. <laughs> Oh man, bitten to death by a cockroach. Mm, yeah, I should I should be a little bit more. There we go. That was actually very nice, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. I should be should have been a little bit more uh, decisive in who I wanted to shoot. So there we go. These guys are down. Let's be careful about what we have up ahead because there's gonna be more. Most likely there's one over there. There's a big one, and I leveled up, which is fantastic. Even though leveling up doesn't heal you, it's not. Diablo or anything, so be careful. <laughs> uh, let's see what do we have. Um, yeah, there's a cockroach over there. There's a this sort of place over here that I don't really know what he does. I'm not really sure what these are. Yeah, I never really could figure it out, but yeah, whatever. A bunch of mattresses. Is that a mattress? It kind of looks like one. Uh, so let's reload that, get this one out, you're gonna shoot that guy, and it's gonna be fine, because if the other one moves, he's gonna die, like so, perfect, yeah, shotgun is a very powerful weapon, there's more of them over here, and I suppose there's gonna be another big one, so be careful about anything that might be on the floor, I don't think anything is gonna be on the floor though, so everything is good, uh, okay, so let's see what we have here, Mm, by the looks of it, only two cockroaches. Eh, that's fine. Go away. Just shoot them. Shoot them from there. Man, these guys are tough. Okay, got... He missed! He missed the goddamn guy! He did, didn't he? Uh, he did. God damn it. And he's shooting with a 95%. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, let's see what happens. There we go. Somebody else leveled up, which is fantastic. Let's see who. Uh, that was, uh... Doesn't say. With three action, uh, experience points, somebody else leveled up. I heard that. Yeah, so let's see what, what we have in here. A shelf. That is trapped. Nope, it is not. Got some cat's paw. Yeah, cat's, cat's paw, yeah. Uh, and that is that. Let's... I mean, the rest of the stuff is not needed. That's 5mm. Is that 5mm, by the way? 6mm. It used to be 5.56 NATO, I think. But uh, no, no, it's not. They changed that. And rightfully so. Okay, so these guys are done for. There's nothing else for us for us to do here. And uh, it's, everything seems to be fairly clear. Mm, and we should be okay to move on with our lives towards here. Let's see what we have here. A couple of scorpions. No, that one is dead. So we should be totally fine to deal with this one. Just guide him around. And this is why I hate this is why I absolutely hate uh, insects in this game. It is just not tactical at all. I mean, there's some situations where it, it is tricky, but most of my, I mean, encounters like this, come on. Come on, Micro Forte, or 13 Degrees East, or whatever the name of the developer was. I think it's Micro Forte. Uh, I think it is. I'm pretty sure. 13 Degrees East is like, I don't know what they were responsible for. And, uh, of course, that siren in there is not annoying at all, so that's perfect. Uh, let's see, some cockroaches in here, because of course... Mm -hmm. It's 
kind of a it's kind of a marvel of nature that these guys don't didn't really go upstairs because they had they had access to the stairs they just decided that the tribals were not dirty enough for them apparently I mean that's, that's that speaks well the tribals let's get this one out and uh, do that like that perfect now let's reload that and keep moving because ain't nobody got time for watching dead cockroaches on the floor they look nasty enough for me. Oh, that's that's another turret over there, so be careful. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting in here. Yep. I remember that one. Nope. I'm poisoned. I will survive, though. Yeah, yeah. Take that one. Take a couple of these. Just to bring you out of the red. It was a 14 and an 11. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I could have done that a little bit better without that misclick for sure. But ah well. I'm not gonna save scum everything, am I? And especially if uh, it means that this guy was not shooting me because he is definitely the, the trickiest one to kill here. Of course, there's gonna be more insects in here. That one. That one. That one. Okay, I think. No! Oh, I'm, he missed! And they, they they really did use to shoot the, the insects, but they don't apparently anymore. Because you see them dead over there. That's that's because the turret shot them. And it kind of doesn't make any sense because they were disabled before. So it kind of yeah, that's kind of doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Now we're gonna nitpick everything. Uh, but yeah, let's get let's get in here. Let's see what we have here. I mean it could it could be that though that, that got shot. But it does it they they are pre-shot. They are pre no 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 yeah that's good. They are pre-shot. It could be that as soon as they activated the dun the the turrets, they just got shot, right? That makes sense. Yeah, it does. But now, of course, as you can see, the turrets don't shoot these little guys. So there's a little flaw in that explanation. Okay. So turret is gonna be. Let's see. It's up. It's a good thing that my perception allows me to notice that thing right there. And let's see what we have back here. Another dead cockroach for some reason. Did I shoot it? I don't think so. No. Why? Why you do that to me? Apparently, it shoots through the glass. Oh, what the hell? We have this? A combat shotgun. We have ooh, so many flash hats. That's awesome. That is awesome. I didn't know we got this this early in the game. That is really good. So please don't be, don't be shot. Thank you. Okay. Oh, man. That is really good. Now, what do I need to bring up? Sneak would be a good thing. I really want to sneak. I really, really do. Uh, but I think at this point I'm, I'd rather... F oh, there's so much. Uh, let's go with sneak. I think the, the benefit this early in the game is going to be a little bit better. Let's go with that. Uh, now, next up, I have what we what used to be called uh, an ancient key... Goss, I think, was the name of this thing. It looks like one, so can, if you know the weapon, you kind of, you kind of probably can recognize it. It's an, an automatic shotgun, basically mili military grade. It's basically the same thing, except it has. Oh, it doesn't have burst. It used to have burst, doesn't it? Apparently, it doesn't anymore. Maybe that's why you get it so early in the game. Mm, but it used to have burst, and it is a very powerful weapon. Make no mistake, that thing with a burst or anything. It, the, I'll show you the damage soon enough. Let me just kill this cockroach here. Oh. Oh, it's kind of stuck on the door. Oh, there's a few of them. It's bad. It's one out, and the other one, please. Nope, didn't kill it. Okay, no, this is bad. It's bad. It's bad. Okay. Kill it. Okay. I think if I go prone... That was... A, was that one red? It kind of looked like it was red. Yeah, if I go prone, we should be safe. I need to remember that as well. Mm -hmm. For the tough guy run. Now, let's go here. Oh, come on! Come on, why you did That little bastard. I'm gonna kill you. There you go. Okay, take more steam packs. Oh, no, actually, first aid could work right now, because I am not that shabby at it, am I? First aid. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I am pretty awesome, to be uh, to be honest. So let's go ahead and do that. 99%. Even with the armor. Of course, that, I think, only brings it up by one. And of course, I'm gonna get bandaged, but I got fully healed, so that was better than Stitch has ever been able to do. So let's see, this thing doesn't have burst. It's unfortunate that it doesn't. But the the damage is 2070, this damage here is 2070 as well. So it's not, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. The only the only increment, I guess, would be the range and the ammo. 15 is the ammo 15, the ammo is 10. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's just not. Eh, it's fine. 
gonna use it. I'm gonna use it, but yeah, it's not as good as it used to be. And that's probably for the best as well. For the better. For the better. Okay, let's have this a look at this crate. Hmm. Can I go in through here? I can. Is that a good thing? I do not know. Oh! Oh, if you gotta stay there, I'm not gonna use my bullets. Yeah, apparently you can't go through the door. Either that or the uh, small little guys are... There's the soundtrack. Okay, this is bad. This is kinda nasty. There we go. Hmm. You don't want to risk being bitten by these guys now that I'm at full health, full health right now. It's a good thing that the bandage went away. Apparently the bandage just fell off or something. But yeah, it's a good thing that it went away. Okay, so let's see what, we have. what else we have. Nothing. Okay. There's gonna be more. There's a nice chest here. There's something in there. Or down there. Let's do this and see what happens. I should be sneaking. Really should. But, uh, oh, new. new. Oh, new! No, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! No, I'm gonna be attacked. God damn it! That was my bad. <laughs> I think I, I think I saved lately. Yeah, I did. Okay, see, that was my bad. I should, I should really not have uh, gone prone, because that basically made sure that I couldn't reposition myself. Let's go with this one. That definitely works. Now go away and let's wait for them over here. If they don't. You know, if, if they don't stop, like a, a mini cockroach over there, just gonna screw everybody's day. That's good. Now go with that one. I say mini. Did I say mini cockroach? <laughs> That's not really what they are. They, them and their mini bites. Oh no! I've just been mini beaten. That's not good. Gonna, the doctor says it's bad for your health. Take it out. There you go. Let's see about that one though. 88% chance to hit. That's pretty good. It's stuck in there for some reason. They, their fat ass can get through the door. That probably is the case. Which kind of makes you wonder why on Earth they would be even there if they can get... Oh, I mean, I guess they could breed and grow in there. But what would they eat? Shelves? I suppose. Let's see what we have here in this ice chest. Some stuff. Not a whole lot of interesting thing. I think that was beer and something else. Um... Soon enough, you'll see something interesting, by the way. Just a heads up, you don't know the game. Uh, don't, don't freak out, it's all good. Uh, freak out when we see it directly. That, that, then, then you should freak out. Nice concussion right there. Um, so, yeah. If you see something interesting, don't, don't freak out. It's all good. Uh, just a heads up. Okay. These doors open. I'm pretty sure there's enemies in there. I'm pretty sure there's a trap in here. I don't remember where, but I am almost definitely sure. I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that either. That was bad. That was stupid. Stupid of me. Be careful. Okay. There's nothing else. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're safe. And the last location is this room. And of course, there's a locker over there, which means that there is a... Um, there's a, um, a fusion, fusion, fusion battery. Is it fission battery or fusion battery? Oh, an electronic lockpick. That's cool. Even though I don't think we have any use for it. And this thing is trapped. I am almost certain about that. Looks dangerous. There we go. And he's gonna blow himself up. No, it is armed. Oh, that's. Huh. Yeah, that's right. It always says looks. It always says looks dangerous, but it almost never it looks. Uh, almost never actually looks dangerous. Another thing that I am gonna try to figure it out. Let's let's try it right now. I'm gonna disable this because it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't get. Let me save the game here as well. I'm pretty sure you can't get above. Uh, let's see. So we're at first aid. At uh, first aid, 101. I'm pretty sure you can't get a benefit from these from a above 100. And you don't. Okay, that's that's good to know. That's that's really it's satisfying to know that I was right in that because otherwise I would have wasted some skill books already. Um, so I'm gonna keep that one over there, and we're gonna see what's behind this door. This is the door that I was talking about last episode. Uh, was it last episode or was it this one? I think it was last episode where um, where it closes automatically. So we need to be careful here. Let's see what we have. Let's also sneak. Can't sneak. Yeah. That's the something interesting that you see. And now you should be freaking out, because this thing is terrible. And the door is closing, okay. This thing is absolutely awful. I'm gonna go prone. 
and see if I can take a few shots. Actually, I'm gonna aim for the eyes, because if I crit it, and I did, did I? Come on, door. Close on me. Close on... There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, did I crit it? I did not. Nine damage. Uh, the, the hit chance was pretty good, though. Um, I... Uh, the, the hit rate, I mean, was pretty good. Uh, because it is definitely not easy to, to shoot that guy with in the eyes from this far away. I'm gonna take a few shots here. You can hear the roacher attacking. I'm now crippled, apparently. That's really bad. That is really bad, but I can fix that. Let's see what I got crippled. So, my left leg is now crippled. I can't run. It's really bad. Hmm... And I'm poisoned as well. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna heal up my poison because there's no real point in doing that. That guy's trying to attack. I think. Okay. Take a few shots with that one. Take a few shots. There we go. Now open that door. Oh no! The roacher is now attacking me. No! Yeah. I was not gonna save there because that was kind of tricky to do. The roacher is a very tough enemy. I'm gonna end the combat here. It's gonna attack me for no damage. That was good. No, it wasn't no damage. But uh, now it's winded. Okay, let's close the door and let's end the combat there. And uh, yeah, I only have the Overwatch. It's basically how the turn base would work, but I want to keep it a little bit under control and a little bit safe scummy as well. I think right now actually I can I can kill it without it attacking me. So let's see if I can shoot that guy. Oh, that's good. That's good. There is a way to, for you to kill the roacher without much problem, but you need to be uh, really, really good at moving around. And sometimes it bugs out, by the way. I'm out of bullets? God damn it, don't use the flash at. Don't goddamn use the flash at, you dumbass! I, used, I just used the flash ads. God damn it. Okay, whatever, I'm gonna buy more. I can buy more, I usually don't, but yeah. Okay, that guy is very angry at me. You can hear it. Apparently, he wants to throw up or something. And I am going to kill him because that's what he deserves. Hopefully, I have line of sight. I do not. Can I sneak? Of course, I can't. Shoot it, Shoot it again. That's good. And now for the roacher. The roacher has got the same sort of animation as the other ones. So, if it's far away, we can, do, we can deal with it. I, I am detected, though. But I think since I'm not crippled anymore, which is a perfect thing... Oh, he got line of sight from him. Can you hear him moving? Okay. Yeah, you can hear him. No, I think I shot him. That was pretty good, though. That one didn't close for some reason. Why did it not close? Was I stuck on the door when he tried to close and now he, the door is stuck? That's good. It's really good. I hate this door closing. Shoot it! Shoot it! God damn it! Oh, that, it missed. Good, good, good. Go with that one. Go with that one. Ooh, awesome. Okay, now the roacher is our only enemy. And of course, this is where it, it, it's really good to have your party down here. And if you don't understand English, as I didn't uh, when I first started playing this game, it's all fine, because you will have your party down here. And it's going to be, oh, this mission actually is quite easy. It is. It is, if you don't mind the guys upstairs dying. Anyway, the roacher is still around here. I think I can see it. There it is. That's the one. Let's. Since I don't have burst on this one, I think I can go ahead and do this. Nope. I'm poisoned. Go ahead and do this. Oh, come on. Just bring a critical on. Come on. Another one. Another one. Don't kill me. Ah, that's what you get. I just killed the roacher single-handedly. Awesome. Yeah. And with that, I'm going to end the episode as well because we are out of time. Uh, now, actually, I I'll show you what's in here because uh, next episode I'm going to be upstairs because I need to do the way back. And I'm going to do it off camera because it is quite dull and uh, not interesting. So, ooh, we got some uh, anti-venom. That's nice. And I will... You have gathered the fusion batteries you require. Proceed to the exit grid to leave this mission. How the hell do you know I have gathered it? Are you, are you watching me right now? Your magic? Do you have magic on you? I think he does. I think he does. Either that or he's got a... No, 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 no. Use that. Don't use that. Use this one. I don't want to be poisoned anymore. Yeah, he just took poison damage, I think. How much? One poison damage? Yeah, he was. Anyway... It's all good. And we're at the end of the episode anyway, so I'll make my way back upstairs. Everything, everybody's going to be fine, alive, and satisfied with the loot they're brought. And um, for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout Tactics Redux. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.